you are welcome to this module on getting data into Power BI. Whether you are working with Excel files, databases, or online services, Power BI offers a versatile set of tools to seamlessly integrate into your data. Irrespective of where your data is, Power BI can connect to more than 100 data sources, which we are still going to be seeing. All thanks to the Power Query. The Power Query is a tool that comes with Power BI that allows you to extract data from wherever source it is and it allows you to transform it. Once you are done with the transformation, then you can load that data into your Power BI and do your data model reporting, publish it, and do a lot of other stuff you, you need to do in Power BI. You could also connect to SQL database. No SQL database. You could connect to flat files. You can connect to PDF, CSV, test file, web data source, all thanks to what? Power BI. When we want to connect to these data sources, there are several modes of storage of this data that we need to discuss and learn about. The first mode of storage is the import mode. In the import mode, it is basically the most common mode to develop semantic models in Power BI. This import mode uses the, what we call the pack engine in Power BI such that this data is going to be loaded into the VertiPack engine. It does some compression and it's going to be stored into the disk and create a local Power BI copy of the semantic model. So your data could be in any source that you want, whether database or flat file or Azure service, you can still do import mode. We just need to take note that a gateway is always required for on-premise data sources. But the import mode comes with some challenges. For example, the entire model must be loaded to memory before Power BI can query the model. These can put pressure on available capacity resources, especially as the number and size of import models grow. Model data is only current as the latest refresh which means that when you use import mode, when you refresh, the model data that is in your VertiPack engine is only as current as that. Although there are some things you could do, which is you can schedule some refresh. But we also want to know that the full refresh removes all data from the table and reloads it from the data source. This operation can be expensive in terms of time and resources for the Power BI service. Although there are some ways to mitigate some of these challenges, but you still cannot completely remove them, especially when you are dealing with very large data. The other mode of storage that we have is what we call the direct query. In the direct query mode, the data is not being cached into the Power BI VertiPack engine. It only creates a direct connection to the data which means you don't need to do any refresh. So when you need, when you need real time or near real time data, direct query is useful. When you have large volume of data, direct query is useful. And you can update your report and dashboard every 15 minutes, which means that we can get access to the latest data that is available in our report as frequent as every 15 minutes. We only need to take note that when you are getting your data into Power BI and you have selected direct query, you can still change this direct query into import mode. But once you have used import mode, you cannot change to direct query. The third mode of storage that we have is what we call the dual or composite. Previously in Power BI's desktop, when you use a direct query in a report, you cannot create other type of data connections, whether direct query or imports. With composite model, that restriction is removed. A report can seamlessly include data connections from more than one direct query or import connections, which means that some part of my semantic model of my data can be a flat file and some other parts can be a database which I'm using direct query to connect to. And 
I can now do my analysis and append, merge, or combine or join this data in any way I like using my Power Query in Power BI. We have another type of connection, which is called live connection. We need to take note that live connection is not a data storage mode. It is just a way of connecting a Power BI report to an existing Power BI semantic model. There are some compatible data sources which we can only do live connection with, which is an existing Power BI service. So what this means is that sometimes we might have a data engineer in our organization who is responsible for building the, the semantic model, the data model for our Power BI project. Once he's done with this data model, he can publish this semantic model into the Power BI service. Other Power BI analysts that wants to work on this report can now create a live connection to the semantic model that has been published into the Power BI service, which means that we don't need to get any data in this case. We just want to connect to an already existing data that has been connected to. Also, Live Connection is supported for Azure Analytical Services or other on-premise instance of SQL Server Analysis Services. And that is that about storage models, Live Connection, and getting data into Power BI. We are now going to be moving into demo or lab session where we are going to be discussing and showing us how to get this data and connect to it.